Dear Heavenly Father, I stand in front of you, bow my head and lay down. Lord, as I start this week, I acknowledge that you are God, you are powerful, good and gracious. There is no one like you, and I praise your great name. You are holy, and there is no other name under heaven by which I receive life and salvation except through Jesus. I depend on your strength and declare that as I wait on you, my strength is being renewed. I will mount up with wings like an eagle, I will run and not be weary, I will walk and not faint. I declare that you are my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I believe that Jesus broke the power of the curse of sin. Death and disease over my life when he died on the cross, and I thank him for his sacrifice. You set before me life and death, blessing and cursing, so I choose life and blessings this week. I dedicate this week to you and trust that as I make plans, you are directing my steps. I know that all your plans for me are good, and I declare that no weapon formed against me will prosper. Thank you for going before me, because you will never leave or forsake me, I can be strong and courageous this week. I declare that your goodness and mercy surround me every moment, PS 23 colon 6, I am of good courage, and God strengthens my heart because I hope in him. Your kingdom is advancing in my life, and I choose to cooperate with the Holy Spirit as he develops love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control in my life. This week, I decide to submit myself to God and resist the devil, and the devil will flee from me. I put aside everything that tries to weigh me down along with the sin that tries to entangle me. I will run with endurance the race that is set before me, looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith. Nothing will get me off track, I stand firm no matter what because I'm walking by faith, not by sight. Thank you, Lord, for transforming me and changing me from glory to glory. I know that as I seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, all the other things I need will be added to me including food, clothing, shelter, financial provision, healing and hope. I know that no matter what happens, you are in control and you are faithful. I will be faithful to serve and love you. I choose to forgive everyone who has wronged me, and I thank you, Lord, for forgiving me for the times I've failed you. I will diligently obey your voice, Lord. And I'll carefully observe all your commandments, believing that your blessings will come upon me and overtake me because I obey your voice. As I make you my refuge, I thank you that no evil will come near me and that your angels are protecting me. If God is for me, who can be against me? I will see victory after victory this week because you are for me and because nothing is impossible with God. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me. I give thanks and I pray in the name of Jesus.